Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Noo Networks. In today's session, we will see how to configure your Wi-Fi router to work as a wireless access point. Such scenario may occur when you are about to share the internet or extend your network and you have a Wi-Fi router and no wireless access point with you. So let's assume you have configured a Wi-Fi router with PPPoE connection as we saw in our last video and now we need to extend the wireless network and instead of wireless access point, we are using a Wi-Fi router. Yes, you can configure your Wi-Fi router to work as a wireless access point. So in such scenarios, you can configure your Wi-Fi router to work as a wireless access point. So before we proceed to configuration, let's see how the connectivity will take place. The service provider has terminated the connection up to the GPON device and thereafter the active port of the GPON device is connected to your router WAN port. The router means this existing router or a gateway which is marked as the existing router or the gateway. Up to here the service pro uh, I mean the service provider has terminated the connection to the GPON device and from the GPON device you have connected a UTP cable to the WAN port of this router. In order to extend the network further and reach it to our router which we are supposed to configure as a wireless access point today, we will connect a UTP cable from the LAN port of the existing router, I mean this router and we will take up to this router WAN port, router which we will be configuring as to act as a wireless access point. On that particular router WAN port we will connect the UTP cable. For IP configuration and procedure to connect and access the Wi-Fi router GUI page. Please refer to my previous videos. I will put the links in the description box for your reference. So today for configuring the Wi-Fi router as a wireless access point, these are the parameters which we will be configuring. The very first thing starting we will be configuring the internet connection and we will configure the internet connection as DSCP. So let's start with the configuration. So instead of connecting and uh, for accessing the router through a UTP cable, I am connecting the Wi-Fi and uh, the default SSID is linked to 041422 for me and I have been connected by putting the password, default password. Quickly let's move to the login uh, page. Uh, the IP address, default IP address to access my router is 192.168.1.1. It will take me to the login page. It is asking me for the password. So the default password for my router is admin. In most of the cases it is admin, in some cases it is password. So default uh, username password for the router you can see on the back side of the router it is printed or else with a leaflet which comes in the box. So moving to the connection connectivity part, the very first thing what you will do is internet setting. You will get the connection and by default it was automatic configuration DSCP. Okay, you will keep this as it is. Now the automatic configuration uh, set to DSCP. This is the connection time which you have which you have configured and simply you will apply. Say okay. So you have con uh, completed the first part. You have connected, uh, you have configured the internet connection to be DSCP. In short, it was by default also the DSCP only. Second part you will move and you will be configuring uh, your Wi-Fi settings. So over here you will be defining your Wi-Fi name, SSID. Uh, let's say we will define the SSID name to be lab. You have to define uh, this name on both the bands 2.4 GHz band and 5 GHz band. The Wi-Fi name I have given as lab, you can choose the password as per my convenience. So I'm choosing the password as pass1234. Security mode, as I told you in the previous video also, and again, I'm saying that the security modes is a totally different lecture, which I have already uploaded. I will be putting the link for your references so that you can have a better understanding what is security mode, the different type of security mode, and everything is much more in detail, so you can refer it. So over here, I will be putting WPA to personal. Additionally, on the 5 GHz band, I will be configuring same. The Wi-Fi name will be lab. And the password will keep same as pass1234. Security mode to be WPA2, WPA2 personal. Broadcast SSID, as I told you in my previous video also, broadcast SSID, if you select yes, it will broadcast the name. So, like, let's say, for example, now, uh, this is the 
broadcast IDs. Uh, if you can see, my uh, wireless name is Shake. So if I would have selected the broadcast, ID, uh, broadcast access ID as no, then in that case, this won't be visible. So manually, what I have to do, I have to go over here. Uh, thereafter, I have to uh, add my network over here. Uh, the name I have to put, then password I have to put, and then I can connect. But it is very easy. Like if you have a name available, then simply you have to put the password, and say straight away you can connect to the network. So we have completed with the second step where we have put the uh, name of the Wi-Fi name, a wireless name, or SSID. If we have uh, as lab, we have uh, chosen the password to be pass one two three four, and straight away we will go over here and we will apply. This will definitely revoke my connection since I am connected to this particular Wi-Fi with the link's name, the SSID name. Uh, it's giving me a warning saying that changing the Wi-Fi setting will disconnect all devices including this one to which through which I am connected on the router. Simply you can reconnect the device using the new wireless setting. It is saying me that uh, once it is disconnected, you can again connect with a new name that is lab and the password will be pass1234. So do you want to continue? Yes. Router is applying changes. Let's say okay. So over here, if you can see, I have lost the connectivity. So let's see if I could see the new name lab. Yes, I can see. It's still applying because one of the uh, for 2.5 gigahertz it is changed. For 5 gigahertz it is still changing. So let's wait for some more time. It's still changing. So meanwhile, we will do one thing. We will just connect to the lab. Connect. It is asking for the password. I will say PASS1234 next and I will connect. Okay, so I'm connected now. Let's again uh, take a login. So in this way, we can uh, we have completed with the second step as well. So we have completed with the Wi-Fi setting. Now the DSCP con uh, server configuration, uh, my friends, this is the optional setting. Uh, if you want to configure the DSCP, it's okay. Or else what will happen? If you're not configuring uh, the DSCP, uh, then in that case, it will automatically, uh, the uh, IP addresses will be obtained by the end devices automatically from your main router. So over here, so let's go to the local network. DSCP server is enabled. Uh, let's see what is the changes that will occur when the DSCP server is enabled and when not. Now it is enabled and it has given the IP address uh, from the range 192.168.1.100 with the maximum number of users 50. So now in this case, if you will see, now the connectivity establishes like, let me show you the connectivity established. Okay. Now. Whenever you are trying to reach the outside network, the first hope will be uh, your router, which you have configured now. The second hope will be the gateway router, which we configured in our previous video with the uh, connection as PPPoE. And then after it will reach out to the internet world. Okay. Just let me check if I'm connected to this router. Am I able to reach to the internet? Ping 8.8.8.8. And let's see, yes, I'm able to ping. See, I'm connected to the new configured router that is uh, which the SSID we have given as lab. Let me trace. And let's see the path, how it goes to the internet. Sorry, spelling, typing error. Let's trace it. And let's trace to this particular IP itself. So guys, if you can see, when I'm trying to trace uh, the Google DNS, uh, the first hope which it is taking is the same router which we have configured as this link is 01422 the IP address is 192.168.1.1 the second hope is the router which we have configured yesterday or you can see in my previous video then it is going to the internet it means that we have configured our router uh, over a DSCP uh, correctly. We are able to reach to the internet after connecting to this router. So this is how we can configure the router, a Wi-Fi router to act as a wireless access point. Let me close this. Let's see what happens if we will just disable this, the DSCP server. 
now the uh, dscp uh, ips were being allotted to the end devices even to my laptop through this particular uh, wi-fi router which we have configured today as access point if i will remove the dscp setting and i will just simply apply so now my pc will get an ip address not from this particular uh, router but directly from the gateway router uh, on which we have configured a pppoe internet connection so i have applied the setting again i have to connect yes again i have to connect that's connecting It's connected. We try. Okay. So again, I am connected. So friends, over here, either you can disable DSCP server on the router, and the end devices will obtain the IP address through your main router, or if you wish, you can configure DSCP server on this Wi-Fi router so that the devices connecting through this router gets the IP address through this Wi-Fi router. But be cautious that the IP pool for the DSCP server on this Wi-Fi router must be different than the one facing towards the internet or you can say your main router. Multiple DSCP servers cannot share any of the same addresses. So friends, I believe this is uh, how we configure the Wi-Fi router to work as a wireless access point and it is much clear for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the comment box so in the next tutorial we will be looking after the wireless access point configuration wireless controller configuration and we will see how we can manage the multiple access points through a wireless controller so thank you for watching my video if you like my video please share with your friends and do subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next video thank you